I look like a freaking troll. Like, I'm always like, I'm gonna be so you on Instagram. And then I'm just like, I'm a troll in an oversized t-shirt. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. Today in the video, we are going to be reviewing and swatching the Bad Baby makeup line, which is called Copycat Beauty. Um, if you don't know who Bad Baby is, that is Danielle Bergoli, I think is her last name. She is a rapper. She was the Catch Me Outside girl on Dr. Phil. That's how I know who she is. So I got a lot of her stuff to compare to the real things because I have quite a few of those. So before we start the video, just make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it at the bottom of this video so you can be notified instantly when I upload. I do upload three days a week right here at the bottom of the video at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Make sure you become part of the hive and you get those instant notifications when I upload my awesome, super fun reviews and makeup tutorials. If you're already subscribed, thank you and welcome back and let's jump into this review. Alright guys, so I have swatched a couple of these and kind of messed around with them just to kind of see when I got them. A couple of things, first things first, these makeup items were actually really freaking cheap. I got a lot of stuff for like $131. I think I woke up on the 16th, I think it was, and there was a YouTube video of her just talking about um, her new makeup line. However, I did read an article saying that it wasn't actually her makeup line, it's a different makeup line that signed her for six months as the face of the company so I'm not really sure what's going on with that whether this is her makeup which I don't think it is I don't think she formulated it because if you look at the packages they don't say copycat beauty they say go to beauty and that's a website but it takes you to copycatbeauty.com it's really freaking crazy um, but I will go ahead and put the link below if you want to take a look at it. In this video, I'm only going to be doing some swatches. I won't be doing a look. As you can tell, I already have a full face of makeup on. I am using the Kylie Cosmetics Sipping Pretty palette. And I will go ahead and link my video to that haul right up here in the video. And I'm also using my MAC Liquid Lipstick, Retro Liquid Lipstick. So let's hop into this and see what is going on here okay so the first item that I picked up is the 18 piece holiday brush set which is kind of weird because I mean maybe she had this way before January but I'm pretty sure she just launched it and the holidays are over so maybe Valentine's Day because this bright ass trashy <laughs> red leather belt. I'm sorry I can't as soon as I saw this I was like you gotta be kidding me like this looks so bad no one's gonna use this so it does come with a little strap that you can wear it around your waist if you want to or not. But the brushes are, they are synthetic. Um, they look like they're dull fiber, but um, they're not very, they're very cheap. They're supposed to be compared to the Marc Jacobs line, which um, I don't have very many. I do have two of their brushes, which I also got in my TJ Maxx haul, which I'll go ahead and link above. But, so I think I only have, yeah, so I only have the two in here. Um, and, like, there's, like, a comparable difference in the fibers of the actual brushes. So, a couple of the ones that I did like was this bronzer brush. It's supposed to be, like, the big matte, um, Marc Jacobs bronzing brush. It is very soft and fluffy, and I really want to try to use it for bronzer. But uh, there weren't very many that I liked. I was pretty excited about this one, which is the GT19. And the other one that I did like was the GT01. This one will be good for packing on your foundation. But then you just have like the other, just very cheap. Like this, I hate that this brush even exists. Uh, this is the GT05, but it's not just her. It's everyone makes these and I hate them. It's supposed to be for like sharp lines, but I'm just not a fan. Uh, they're very lightweight. You can tell like that they're very cheap. So the fact that I paid $50 for these, that's kind of a little ridiculous. But if you want a cheap alternative, I guess, to fancy brushes, you could get these. But again, Morphe isn't very expensive. And that's where I would go to for my cheap brushes because these are just like, look, it just bent already. It's just not the quality of it is just not very good. Um, they feel stiff. Again, I only really found two that I liked. This one is pretty soft. You could probably use it for blush or setting powder. But other than that, they're just 
kind of weird brushes so that's that but let's get into the lip products this might be quite a long video because she has a lot of stuff and I got a lot but let's go into the lip stuff so she has a lip stain and I really don't have a lip stain to compare it to just because um for ABH this was supposed to be this is ST03 it is compared to nothing online she didn't have anything like if you go look on the website it says compared to and then has an item this one does not so I was not really sure what to kind of match this to I will tell you it has really good color um, it's very lightweight the smell is okay like it doesn't smell chemically or anything I do plan on kind of doing a doing videos with like each palette like this one the real one versus the fake one but if you want to see those specifically make sure at the end of the video you comment below and let me know which ones you want to see so let's move back on to the lip gloss so the lip stains are $3.99 which I mean is a pretty decent price for a lip stain um it is kind of like splotchy and patchy when you wear it uh I did have a hard time taking it off with a makeup removing wipe but I mean it's a, like I said it's a lip stain so it's going to give you that drying effect Whereas it's not like gonna be really pigmented. It's more of just like a blotted look on your lip Moving on. So this one is the GL GO5 and this is the lip gloss They did compare this It's just like a cheap plastic container. They did compare this to the ABH lip gloss So I found that it was it's kind of sticky. Um, it's pretty thick Again, it doesn't have really a terrible smell. And I do have an ABH lip gloss right here. I didn't have this. This was compared to the Peony color. But this is Black Cherry. And I'll go ahead and swatch them next to each other. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it could be that that one's a lighter color than this one. Which I probably should have picked a pink one. But they, the quality of it isn't terrible. Like, the lip gloss is pigmented, it feels nice to, like, move around, um, the doe foot is very similar, so whether it's lasting, like, throughout the day, probably not, it's a lip gloss, so ABH, doesn't matter, MAC, lip glosses aren't gonna last all day long. So that one was also $3.99. The Stila Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. So these are really freaking stunning. I have quite a few of them and I do love them so much. Like the pigment on them, the formula, the way they blend, the way they dry is freaking fantastic. Now, she said that these liquid glitter eyeshadows are comparable to those. And these were $4.99. I can tell you they're not <laughs> like when you look at the difference look at the applicator that's all glitter on there and the whole applicator doesn't even get covered like you have to like really get in there so let me go ahead and put these swatches on it's pretty it's pretty it's like a liquid glitter it has like that champagne color but if you look here this is all like glitter reflex where this one is more of like the whole cream it's just like a shimmery liquid highlight so this one is going to give off those glitter pieces on your face and on your eyes where this one, see how it dries down, it's not going to give you. It's just like a shimmer. I would definitely say that those are not worth $5 just because if I wanted glitter, I could go to NYX and it'd probably be safer to use all my eyes considering I don't know where they came from. So then the last lip item, which is the one that kind of like really upset me when she said it because it's one of my favorite MAC lipsticks, but... I'm gonna tell y'all, it might be better than the MAC lipstick. Don't kill me. So these are the Go To Beauty, and this is what I'm saying, like it doesn't even have her brand on it, it doesn't have her name on it, and they're just numbers, like this is GLI, so this is GLIP03. Um, so I think that she literally is just a face of this. I don't think this is her company, so I guess maybe that's why she doesn't really care that it's crap. Um, so they are very similar in shape, this one is much heavier, this is much lighter, cheap plastic, better plastic, and you have the red. She is saying that these are comparable. This is Ruby Woo by MAC. It is a traditional red and loved by many. And here is, let me go, give you a little close up of the two. They're very similar in color, but the fake one seems to be a little bit brighter of a red and not as matte. So the Ruby Woo I have is matte, retro matte. This is, I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ahead 
and I'm gonna swatch the fake one right here and then I'm gonna go ahead and swatch Ruby Woo right here so this is the Mac one and this is the fake one they seem pretty similar but this one the fake one does seem a bit more pigmented where like this one's kind of patchy and lighter so that was my only thing is like this one kind of did beat the original and that kind of sucks but like I think these are like 17 18 dollars this was again 3.99 so if you want good lipsticks and you don't want to have to pay the price for it or you can't afford it then this might be for you sorry Mac all right so let's dip into these palettes I really don't like endorsing um, the whole copycat thing but I will tell you before I swatch these palettes I found that a lot of them are very similar um, they may not be perfect but they're very similar the way they wear the way they blend out I did use brushes and my fingers and kind of blended them and I was very surprised to find out that they are actually pretty darn close so with that being said we're gonna kind of go through and some of it may be positive, some of it may be negative. So, you know, this is my opinion only. And I don't want you guys to get upset and be like, well, you know, you're promoting copycatting, blah, blah, because I'm not. But I am going to tell you whether or not the copycat beauty versus the original is better or not. And then you guys can kind of take it and do what you will with it, whether you buy it or you don't buy it. That's up to you, not me. So <laughs> let's go into... Go to Beauty or Copycat Beauty's Peach Sangria Palette versus the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Now it does say on her website, which was one thing that I was just like, bitch. She literally took a picture of this from Too Faced website or the internet or whatever and was like, compared to, slapped it on there. Do you know what's going to happen? Even if this was crap. People are going to see this and be like, oh my God, it's going to pull their eye. So just remember that in marketing, when you're looking at websites, that this doesn't always mean it's going to be good. So comes in a pretty decent sized package. This is a very lightweight. Now, I don't know if it's lightweight simply because this is metal and this is cardboard, but you can tell that this is cheaply made and this took time and effort. So you have to remember that when you weigh out the price difference. If you don't care about packaging, then maybe the $8.99 palette is for you. However, there are people like me who freaking adore the packaging. We collect it for a lot of the times the packaging. It's just the way that it is kept. You know, I can keep this a lot longer than I can keep this because this is not sealed very well where this is literally a metal container. So remember that when we're going through. So this palette was, I'm just looking here on my phone to give you an exact cost of it. Yeah, so the peach palette obviously $49 and theirs is $8.99. I believe all of their shadow palettes are $8.99. So it comes with plastic cover. That's nice. I can tell you that this palette is cheaply made. I mean, they really did like bare minimum. Like this is like cardboard, gold covered cardboard. So I mean, you're paying $8.99, which is okay, I guess. But just remember, you take that into account. It comes with this itty bitty mirror. It's literally like this big. I don't want to blind you guys with it. So I'm going to fold this down. Oh my God, that folded right in half like it was breaking. And you have the palette. Okay, so I'm trying not to blind you because it's all gold on here. And now we're going to do the peach palette, which is not as big. But... Here we have the peach palette. Now I'm gonna go ahead and compare them side by side. So it doesn't have the size of the pan on the package. The package is literally plain. The ingredients are on the back of the unit carton, but size is not. So I don't know how to compare that to the original. Um, if you guys know that size, go ahead and comment below to let everybody else know, but I do not know. Um, looking at them, they are definitely more spread apart, but they seem to be slightly bigger than the Too Faced shadows. Uh, there were a couple on here that I will go ahead and swatch for you. All right, so the first ones I'm doing are the Copycat. You have Just Peachy, Bless Her Heart, 
nectar, and summer yum. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Try to get that color in there. Now I'm gonna go in there with the real one. So here are the swatches of both palettes. Um, you can tell that the original are definitely a little bit more pigmented. The color's a little bit off. But the original and this one right here, I accidentally swatched the original on top and the fake on the bottom, so remember that. The originals seem to be way more powdery, I will say that. They have a little bit more fallout, which is kind of irritating, but they really look so similar. I think that if you are looking for this palette but you can't afford it, then $8.99 is probably your way to go. It is very close, so I am looking forward to doing an actual look with this. All right, so the next two are going to be the Tarte in the Blue, Tartlet in Bloom by Tarte Cosmetics, and then obviously the Copycat, which is called Jamocha. You will notice that they, like, what I did notice is they are very similar in color. Like, all of these palettes are very similar in color. She did, or they did, really well being copycats. Leave you look here. These almost look identical. I can't pull up the the mirror any more than that, but these are almost identical. Okay, let me try to get them. Look at those. Are you freaking kidding me? They look like freaking, they just took these shadows and stuck them in this palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab a couple out of here as well. So Funny Girl, Firecracker, and let's go on with Rebel. So these are the three soft fingers from the original. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually swatch them on my hand. So you have Funny Girl, Firecracker, and Rebel. And then I'm gonna go ahead right underneath them, right in between them, and put the copycat. These in the copycat seem to be, um, have a little bit more pick me up and some fallout in them but again they look so similar like I can't even believe this so here they are let's go ahead and swatch them next to it oh my goodness like do you see that look how similar these are I'm trying not to blind you guys but so this one is definitely their mats are definitely a little bit more patchy um but like look at firecracker these look so similar. They literally look like they're the same exact formula. Like, I don't know how they did it. I have never seen dupes come this close. Like, they look so freaking similar. Honestly, I think that for $8.99 versus, I think this one was like $42, you're not, it's not so bad. All right, so let's move into the next one, which is Earth Metals. So this is to be compared to the Soft Lamb by ABH. There's the copycat, the ABH Soft Glam palette. Again, I think that this one has better quality and packaging. I really believe they all do, but let's get into swatching some of them. Well, let's compare them side by side first, and then we'll go into the swatches. So if you look here, there is the comparison. They actually are very similar. You might not be able to tell with the studio lighting, but they are. All right, so let's go into, let's do three colors on this one. We're going to go in with Fairy, which is a very loved color in this palette. Uh, we're going to go in with Burnt Orange, which is a matte. Oh, they're kind of, this one's kind of creamier. I do feel like I have to kind of like rub more to get the color on there. And then we're going to go in with Sultry. So that's the only thing to keep in mind is these are probably gonna have a lot more work like they're not gonna you're gonna have to build them up more than a decent palette so this one is very ooh, that was really really powdery burnt orange and sultry now going in with fairy in the real palette burnt orange i just want you guys to see it so you know i'm not like being shady swatching them oh so fairy, again, fallout, burnt orange, and sultry. So you could tell that this, the fake one, has a little bit more pink and maroon undertone, where sultry in the ABH palette has a little bit more brown. So we're going to start here, 
work our way down. Burnt orange is definitely more pigmented in the real one and has like no color right here in the fake one. However, fairy is freaking spot on. The fake one seems to have like a less yellow, it's more gold, where the fairy in the ABH definitely has a way more blinding gold. So in the battle of soft glam, ABH versus copycat earth metals, that's definitely gonna go to soft glam. These palettes are gonna be hard to beat and I'm gonna move on to the next one and tell you why. So the next two, let me tell you something. This is literally one of my favorite freaking makeup items. I'm not talking from this company. I'm talking one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes across the board. And I have probably 50 to 60 eyeshadow palettes and this is my favorite. Now, ignore it, it's a little messy because I've had this for so long and my daughter kind of messed with it and the shades kind of got all messed up. But this is the Modern Renaissance by ABH. For those of you who do not know, this right here, this bitch, is the bomb. She was the talk of the town for a while. They came out with another palette. They freaking ruined it. They should have stopped or at least stuck with this formula. They wanted to change it. Whole another story, different video, different day. But this palette should not have been came for. She should not have come for this palette. Yes, this palette is $42, but she is worth every freaking penny you pay. Also, I forgot to mention, you do get brushes with every one of these ABH palettes and you don't with the cheap copycat, whatever. Um, this palette is one of my favorite. So when I saw this, I was like, not a chance. Now, they are very similar in color. I will definitely say that. The copycat one was $8.99 versus $42. So you could tell burnt orange. Is burnt orange in two different palettes? Oh shit. The tea. <laughs> Anyways, so burnt orange and burnt orange are two different colors. This, this is so light. Um, another one of my favorite is the Venetian red versus this one, Venetian red. Not gonna cut it. So then you have Red Orchard, which is Red Orchard, also not the same. So when I tell you, like, I, as soon as I opened this one, I was like, oh, they're similar. But there's definitely different ones. It was because, like, this palette is my palette. So we're going to go in with the copycat. Let's go in with the ones I was telling you about. We're going to go in with Burnt Orange. And then we're going to do Primavera, actually, because that's one of my favorite colors in this palette. And then we're gonna go in with the Venetian red. So you do get quite a bit of kickback from this one. So Primavera, Burnt Orange, Venetian Red. So see how they're not very, like this one's a little bit blinding, but these two are really not that pigmented. What I did realize throughout her palettes is that the mattes are they're not very pigmented is what I'm saying. They're patchy, so keep that in mind. Yes, you're getting a cheaper deal, but you're also getting a cheaper like product. Like, there's no way that this girl can produce this kind of formula at that price and still make a very decent profit. So let's just remember that. You can feel the difference too in the quality of the products because like the ABH ones are just so freaking buttery and creamy that you can tell like how, oh, the difference in it. I'm gonna have to swatch it up here because I swatched that on accident. So I did burnt orange three times. There, the copycat one is right here in the middle. It's way more yellow and it's very like light and not really there. And then you have the Venetian reds. So see the difference? This one is way more red and like boom, bright, where this one is kind of patchy and lighter. And then you have the last ones right here. This is the ABH one right here on the top, which is a little bit more blinding. Again, these colors, like, the, they got pretty freaking close, but I knew that there was no way in HE Double Hockey 6 that they were going to hit this spot on. There's two more products. I know it's a long video, but I wanted to get enough to kind of show you guys, like, what's the tea? Is it worth it? Are her glow palettes. Tropical Glow, which is identical or copycatting of the ABH Glow Kit. 
in sun dipped. ABH comes with no mirror, four pans, and these are, they come out. So you can kind of switch them out. That's why this one is a little bit heavier is because it has a magnet. And then it has that on the back. So you can always like change them up, refill them. I'm not really sure why they do that. I guess you can mix them up. And then you have the copycat one. So that, very cheap on the inside. It does come with a mirror here. So did you see all that chin? <laughs> it does come with a mirror here. So I kind of like that better than the original. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but when it comes down to it, let's do this. So we have four and four. Here they are side by side. And you can tell like this one just has like darker a little bit. This is, it doesn't seem like they're dark enough to be identical in color, but they definitely resemble each other. Now I will tell you when swatching these, <clears throat> this one is not, the copycat one is not very creamy like the ABH one. So we have bronzed, summer, tourmaline, and moonstone. Here they are, ooh, blinding. I will tell you in a minute how I feel about these. Okay, so again, these are $8.99. The ABH ones are $40. So we're gonna do bronzed, summer, tourmaline, and moonstone. There they are, blinding. Try not to blind you. And I'm gonna swatch the real ones next to them or below them. So bronzed, summer, tourmaline, moonstone. So you can definitely feel the difference. The copycat ones are definitely made cheaper. They're not as smooth and buttery. They seem a little bit more dry, whereas the ABH ones are very like creamy to powdery finish. They will blend out a little bit better, but they're they're very, very creative. Like the formula is created very nicely. So we have bronzed, we have summer, we have tourmaline, which I'm gonna put above it because I can't get it to fit, and moonstone, which is also gonna be above it. So before I show you this, understand that I love ABH. However, <laughs> look at the difference. So this is the ABH one. This is the copycat. They're very similar, very pretty. No, I lied. This is the copycat. This is ABH. What I found was that the copycats are darker. They're more pigmented. Look at these two next to each other. The copycat is right here. The ABH is here. The copycat is right here. The ABH is here. I had very low standards for the highlighting ones because I was like, listen, a cheap highlighter is not very easily done. But this was better than this one. Most of these were either right in the same range or the originals wound up being better. However, in this case, the copycat one. I would rather use this highlighter than this one. They did better with this. So let's go into the next one. The next one is Beached Glue. Same packaging, holographic or iridescent or whatever. I know there's a whole big thing like you can't say something that's hollow if it's not hollow. Sorry. <laughs> I've actually had that experience. So so here it is. This is the copycat one to the ABH one. It's the sugar glow kit. So this is the copycat to that. Again, very shiny. Has the mirror. And that's another thing. I don't think it's necessary, but ABH don't have no mirror. Uh, the only thing that I will say is the ABH ones are kind of powdery like this one has powdered all over it where those I don't find have that issue This is the original again. The formula is much better. I will give her that But let's see how they do. So we have marshmallow Gumdrop which I cannot stand because it's so freaking glittery butterscotch and starburst Ooh. so Marshmallow, Gumdrop, Butterscotch, and right over here is going to be Starburst. There they are without anything. We're going to go in here also with Marshmallow, Gumdrop, Butterscotch, Starburst. So again, um, the color difference in Gumdrop is like a lot different. So we have Marshmallow, 
gumdrop, drop top, <laughs> butterscotch, starburst. Holy crap. Look at starburst right here. Look at this. This is the copycat. This is ABH. Like that's out freaking outrageous. So the only one I would have to say is that gumdrop is definitely a little bit better than the original gumdrop. I mean, the original gumdrop is a little bit better than the copycat one. Then you have, this one is butterscotch. The original is a little bit better. And then the last one, or the first that I did was marshmallow. The original is also just a little bit. Actually, no, the copycat one is right here. Wow. Starburst blew me away. Like, look at this blinding freaking highlight. This look at, like, I'm going to put it on my face. So I'm going to go in with starburst on my face with an abh brush i already have highlighter on which is the amrezi abh highlighter oh boy jeez a wheeze okay <laughs> well if you want to be seen from the stars and look like a little glazed donut then this is the color for you because i just slightly oh my god okay okay let's go into Starburst and ABH. I'm really mad that I really like these highlighter palettes. I'm not gonna lie to you because I didn't want to like any of them. So there's Starburst. This one's pretty blinding. Like I love ABH's palette actually. Um highlighters, but let's see if it's just as blinding on my skin. Oh girl, it is. Bam. Bam. So now that I have like so much freaking highlighter on my face, let's talk about it. <laughs> so that is the last of the product. So let's have a little chit chat now that I'm like glazed all the freak up. Um, I definitely feel like these were pretty close um, to a match. So I can't like, I look like I'm glowing. I look fantastic. Wait, it's too much. Don't care. So I think that they're a match. So either one is going to be pretty decent. Again, this is, they seem the same. This is a little bit heavier because it has the magnet in it where this one does not. You can replace these. So there's always plus sides to the original versus the copycat. So let's have a little chit chat before we end the video. One, I do not endorse what Danielle is doing. I think that she could have taken a company who maybe had similar formula and to the go-to beauty and really just kind of made her own with that. So I think that where she's going and she's copying, like directly copying, we're not talking just like similar dupes, we're talking she outright stole the idea or that company stole the idea and she's putting her face on it. And at the end of the day, she's gonna get all the shit and they're not because her face she's the face of the company so that alone um kind of upsets me about the whole situation because i think that she really could have had a good thing had she said like compared to and then not been identical so you have to take into account like name brand versus generic is very similar so when people get upset i'm kind of just like well isn't it kind of the same thing i wish that she did not outright copy their stuff i wish she did not take their pictures and put it on the website or not she because she's probably not doing any of this she's just sitting smiling looking pretty on a camera i wish that company did not do that i like where they're going with it i like the idea of giving people normal everyday people who can't afford 16 50 dollar eyeshadow palettes or 40 dollar highlighter palettes the option to pay 8.99 or 5.99 i think that the quality of this makeup is it blew me away because i definitely thought it was going to be like the ones that you would get on a black market down like on the boulevard somewhere you know what i mean not somewhere, not something that you could possibly see in a makeup store. The quality is pretty decent. I haven't done a makeup look with them. I do plan on doing it. Um, again, like I said, I'll post them like this versus that. However, from just the first impressions, I think that the swatches are phenomenal. I think the quality is phenomenal. They could have done better with the packaging, but I guess that's where you save the money at the most. Because a lot of these companies are wasting so much money on these beautiful packages where it's like, if you're not like me or any other creator here on YouTube or Instagram, you really don't need 
to have these beautiful, crazy packages. You just need something that's kind of close, seal, and deliver what it needs to. And I feel like Danielle's line or Go To Beauty's line with Danielle did that. I see where she's coming from. Do I think she should have called people stupid for wasting their money on the higher ends? No, because that's all personal preference. I don't think she's stupid for what she says online or whatever. I think it's rude. But I think that coming out with this is no different than Makeup Revolution doing what they did with the Too Faced palettes, the chocolate ones, the Kylie lip kits, all of that. So take that into account. I am no, in no way endorsing copying someone's idea so do not come for me but I think that it's good I'm not gonna lie I think for $131 I could have saved so much money from all the stuff I did here I think the lip glosses are decent I think the palettes are decent I think that if you are a normal average person who cannot afford high-end expensive ass makeup then go for it like I said I am gonna link the website below so you can take a look for yourself. Make that decision for yourself. Do you want to support the copycatting or do you just want good makeup at a decent price? I really thought when I got this that I was gonna hate it and I was gonna bash her and I was gonna be like, I can't believe this. But quite honestly, it blew me away. And I'm sorry guys, if you don't like that, I have to be honest with you. I've promised to always bring my honest opinion. So there it is. That is it for today's video. If you did like it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you're planning on buying anything, go ahead and leave me a comment below as to why you would buy something or why you would not buy something. As always, guys, have a fantastic week. It's Monday, and we'll see you next time. Bye.